Hey Summers, welcome to Make 2 and a tutorial and walkthrough of The Sims Free Play Hobbies for Puppies and Kittens. If you have any trouble following what I'm saying in this video, you can try turning on the closed caption because we've typed out a script and it might be easier to read along. The puppy hobby begins immediately after you complete the Puppy Odyssey quest. We've done a video walkthrough of that quest on our channel. Just check the video description below to find a link to it. If you collect all the items in the Puppy Hobby within the first seven days, you unlock Poodles, grown up and puppy age. In order to get started on the Puppy Hobby, you first need to get a puppy from the pet store in town. Then you need to go to the Hobbies and Careers store. Select the Hobbies tab, then purchase the puppy play mat for 1,000 simoleons. To begin with, you will only be allowed one play mat in your town, so you can only have one sim doing the hobby in your town. However, if you have a neighbor with a puppy and a playmat properly set up, you can send a second sim to work on the hobby in their town. This way, you'll have two sims working on the hobby and can hopefully work twice as fast. The puppy playmat, once you buy it, will go into your inventory. Go back to the house where your puppy lives, go into the hobby section of your inventory, and place the playmat. Make sure the playmat is rotated the right way toward empty space and that there is enough room for your sim and puppy to get to it. Each time you complete one hobby action, you collect one item. There are 12 possible items to collect. The items in the puppy hobby will be random, and they will repeat. Just keep trying. Keep the same sim doing the hobby, so that the sim levels up. Leveling up unlocks more hobby items, so that your sim can achieve those and ultimately finish the entire collection. Once you have finished the hobby, you'll be allowed three playmats in your town, and then you can have three sims doing the hobby at the same time. The poodles will be in the pet store, the puppy poodle will cost 68 LPs, the grown-up poodle will cost 82 LPs. If you miss the 7 day time limit, you won't get the poodles, but you will still be able to win 5 new rug styles, and that part is not timed. Each time you complete the hobby, hit reset collection to begin working on the next prize. The style of rug you win will be random, just keep doing the hobby until you collect all of them, you've got plenty of time. And here's what the rugs all look like in the home store. The kitten hobby is also unlocked right after you complete the Puppy Odyssey quest, but this hobby has no time limit. The prize for completing the kitten hobby is a new breed of cat, white Persians in kitten and grown-up age. Doing the kitten hobby is very similar to the puppy hobby. You first need to get a kitten from the pet store, then you need to go to the hobbies and career store, select the hobbies tab, then purchase the kitten play box for 1,000 simoleons. From the beginning, you'll be allowed three kitten play boxes in your town, so you can have three sims working on this hobby at the same time. You can also send a fourth sim to a neighbor's town to work on the hobby there. The kitten play box will go into your inventory. Go back to the house where your kitten lives, go into the hobby section of your inventory, and place the play box. Make sure it's rotated the right way, and there is enough room for your sim to get to it. The Persian cats will be in the pet store when you win them. The Persian kitten will cost 68 LPs. The grown-up Persian cat will cost 82 LPs. So that has been our walkthrough of the puppy and kitten hobbies. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And in the meantime, if you're new to our channel, please feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims Free Play videos on the way. Thanks for watching.